Cable crossovers and cable flies are useful exercises for isolating horizontal adduction, the primary role of the pectoralis major. While horizontal pressing includes the contribution of elbow extension, training the triceps as well, crossovers and flies train the chest primarily and the anterior deltoid. As discussed in the decline pressing video, changing the angle of a press can alter the region of the pecs that is emphasized to a small degree and also changes how much the anterior deltoid contributes to the movement. The same is true of flies and crossovers. Changing their angle changes their focus. So an incline places a bit more emphasis on the clavicular head of the pec major and the anterior deltoid, while a decline will emphasize the lower portion of the sternal head of the pec major in addition to the clavicular head and anterior deltoid, although to a slightly lesser degree. A crossover or fly performed directly in front of the body with the angle of the cable straight back provides a balanced stimulus between an incline and a decline. While you can perform dumbbell flies on a flat, incline, or decline bench, cable crossovers provide a slight advantage compared to free weight flies. When performing flies with dumbbells, you're directly resisting the pull of gravity. So at the top of each repetition, when your arms and the dumbbells are perpendicular to the floor and the lever arm is the shortest, you're no longer loading your pecs. However, when training with the cable, which provides constant resistance via pulleys, you load your pecs and front delts through the entire range of motion. With that said, a minor drawback of a cable crossover is that you have to stabilize your body in a standing position, and the heavier you go, the more you will find the resistance of the cable starts to lift you off your feet and push you backward. This makes dumbbells a better choice for lighter individuals who are strong, or you can perform cable flies, moving a bench over to the cable machines and performing them in a seated or lying position, changing the position of the cables to achieve the desired angle, either inclined, declined, or straightforward, or up, depending on if you were seated or lying. Remember, if you're training at a commercial gym, let people work in with you and move your bench out of the way between sets instead of taking up the entire cable crossover area. Finally, when performing cable flies, crossovers, or dumbbell flies, make sure to keep the angle of your elbows relatively constant so your form is similar from rep to rep, allowing you to track your progress reliably. Also, control the eccentric phase, going as far down as you can control pain-free, and then forcefully push through the concentric, performing the entire range of motion when using cables since there's resistance throughout the entire range.